public speaking is very important to a networker because you can't network if you don't talk. You can't network if you don't talk. Just come to think of this one, that from the mind to the listener's ears, ideas and thoughts are articulated when it is verbalized. From the mind to the listener's ears, ideas and thoughts are articulated when it is verbalized. The person who's listening, yung taong nakikinig, hindi niya maintindihan ang gusto mong ipahiwatig, ang gusto mong sabihin, ang, ang iyong pakay sa kanya kung hindi mo ito sinasabi. Ganon din sa, sa business na ating uh, kinapakulaoban ngayon. The kind of business that we're handling right now, the kind of venture that we are involved with, it is required of people who are talking. How would you feel if you come to Dera City Center then you have encountered a sales lady trying to sell you a perfume but never talk. Shh. <laughs> 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 I mean, if, if you are a networker and try and wanted to persuade someone to pay in in your team how you can persuade that person if you don't talk how you can prospect if you don't talk in the metro al abog to block then you look you're a woman and you look at the man The man would translate that you're about to give him money, but he would never know that you are a worker. Your thoughts and ideas can only be translated if you verbalize it. Kapag sinabi mo ito dun sa taong, kinakakausapin mo. Now, check this out. To extemporize ideas, principles, plans, and intentions, is by vocalizing vocabularies placed together, framed by gestures and diction. That is public speaking. It should be framed by gestures and diction. Have you ever seen a speaker who never walks, just stay in one point, in one corner, and with a straight body? I've seen a lot of people like that. In fact, whenever I see a speaker like that, even though that he is prestigious in his background, I leave the room. I leave the room. I always say this when there are three kinds of speakers. The first speaker is the person that you must listen. The second, that the second speaker is the person that you must not listen. And the speaker that you should listen. And I'll be talking about that afterwards. And you will be only the person that I have spoke about a while ago. You categorize yourself through that if you are able to master this. If you are able to frame your uh, ideas with gestures and diction. Diction is very important. Gestures is important. What is diction and gestures? But before that, you should know it is. It should be vo vocalized, and vocabularies are placed together. Vocabularies. These are words. Proper words. Filipinos know this one. Avoid saying no, no. You know, you know, no, no. Actually, actually wrong. Don't do that. It is always wrong. Never frequently use actually. No, no, 
No. Don't do that. People will laugh at you. You're... My vision for for AU distributors are those distributors who can talk well and present the business well. Not the kind of distributor whenever there's another nationality as if you feel yourself peeing on your pants. Even though there are different, different nationality, you just talk. You talk fluently, you talk with confidence. Vocabularies framed by gestures, bad gestures, hand movement, walking, mo mobilization of your body. I'll be talking about that afterwards. And diction. We'll be practicing our diction afterwards also. The way you pronounce words is very important. <clears throat> now let's talk about public speaking. Public speaking is vital for developing a business and building relationships with colleagues and prospects. It is vital in developing a business and building relationships with colleagues and prospects. Unless you understood the real important, it is vital in putting up a business and building up a relationship. Unless you understood the real importance of talking properly, you will never be able to build up a team. Especially on the diverse society that you are in. Nandito tayo sa Dubai. It is very diverse. Natural na sa atin makakita ng Russian, ng, ng Kenya, ng Ganyan. Kazakhstan, natural na sa atin yun. Pero sa Pilipinas, natural ba yun? No. Makakita lang na po tayo, Hey Joe! Hello Joe! How are you Joe? Iba na, di ba? Pero dito, ang puti o. Ang kasama mo ngayon, puti. Ito yung kasama ko. Di ba? Sa Pilipinas, kapag girlfriend mo Chinese, di ba ito? Girlfriend Chinese o. Dito. You want to take? Diba? Because here, na nandito tayo sa Dubai, we are exposed to a very diverse cultural orientation. Now, therefore, you can only build a very formidable relationship or business in the midst of cultural diversity, if you know how to do public speaking. And especially to your prospect. This one. Do you know it is high in percentage probability kung ikaw ay marunong magsalita, kung ikaw ay marunong magpersuade, kayang kaya mong maisama sila. Say your team. In the power of persuasion, there are, uh, uh, in, in hypnotism, there are two areas there that you are being taught. The power of suggestion and the psychological mapping. And if you learn and master that craft, hindi ako magtataka ang laki ng team mo. Yes! yes. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> okay? It is important to realize the way you communicate portrays an image of you and your organization. The way you communicate portrays you and a you. You know. I don't want to be bragged and tagged as 
a chief networker. I want you to be known as networkers, be in place as a paradigm, an example. I want to be like that. Yes. Yun dapat. Hindi nga, you know, actually, you know, actually. Ano yung pang actually, pang artista lang yun? Artista ka ba? Networker. Uh, pag meron meron lang ngayon, hindi, a networker ako. So, that, <laughs> so it, it reflects you and in you the way you speak. At kasiraan mo rin yan, kasiraan yan ng sarili mo at kasiraan din yan na pera ginasa sa nani mo sa pag-aaral sa'yo. Ah. No wonder Filipinos are dubbed by most of the nationalities as paroting people. What is the meaning of paroting people? We copy what it sounds, but never know the meaning. Happy? Of course not. I don't want to be called as a Filipino paddock. I want to be called as a fi Filipino network. Yes. Ah, sorry. Intelligent Filipino network. And that's what you are. And that is what you are intended to be. Not until you understood the meaning of that. Portraying this image. Image could be the first impression someone gets. Or the last one. <laughs> you never knew. The way you have presented yourself the first five minutes of your interaction to your prospect. You never knew. Maybe that's the first impression or the last one. I don't want that to be the last one. I want that to be the first impression. I don't want that to be the time we're in that I'm presenting a wow presentation to my prospect. So whenever they saw you, they say, Ooh, something is in this man. Nakita ka pa lang, hello sir, good evening, yes my God. Wow. Wala ka pa sinasabi, pay in ako, pay in! Seven! Hindi pa si Tena yun na! Wala ka sinasabi, pay in again. Because, the way you carry yourself. Yes. Yes. Well, sir, good evening. You need to have that skill. Definitely, you really need to have that skill. Public speaking makes you win with words. Uh -huh. Why a motivational speaker is being paid big? Hmm? A lot of motivational speakers are being given fat, juicy paychecks. Because they know how to speak. Networkers, I want you to look at me right now. AU distributors, look at me. Your mouth is your shop. This is your shop. If you close it, no business. Understand? Yes. If you don't clean it, no business. <laughs> this is your shop. If it has nothing to say, no business. Make sure, since we are primarily in gold venture, make sure you have a golden tongue. Whatever and whoever you spoke to, in. You don't take no for an answer. Yeah. Right? Yes. So I, you need to win with grace. Win with grace. As you remember about winning with grace, you, you know there are people who tend to be um, um, offensive on their words towards me. For example, in my company, there's one, uh, one Filipino is a uh, 
a supervisor. Then he, he, he saw me in the, in the marketing department and said, Buti pata si Francis, ang hindi pinapawisan dito. You know how I answered it? Brad, ang utak hindi pinapawisan. <laughs> <laughs> you can win with words. But yet at the same time, shut a person up. But you need to we you need to make sure that your words are clean, non-offensive, but you are proving a point. That is the way it should be. Being a good public speaker can enhance your reputation, boost your self-confidence, and open up countless opportunities. Mm. Being a good public speaker can enhance your reputation. It can definitely enhance your reputation if you speak well. Kilala mo si Francis? Ay, naku, alam mo rin yan? Ayong kausap yan, sa pag tumayo kaysa kausap yan. Yan, reputation. Kilala mo si Francis? Oh yeah, if I were you, you need to listen to that man. You've been, you've been missing half of your life if you don't listen to that man. Reputation. It will boost your confidence. If you learn now how to speak to people, you can do every trick in the box, every trick in the brochure, if you learn how to speak well. That's true. You can blend with different categories of people. Youth, yappies, old folks, Housewives, bombs, lazy folks, crazy folks. You can talk to them because you know how to, to, to have the right choose of words. The words that would stir up their imagination, their interest towards the topic that you are sharing. You can open up countless of opportunities by this. This one. Ngayon, Magpipresent ka ng business. Hello. Magpipresent ka ng business. Huwag naman gano'n. Yung parang ito si Kuya Cesar. Imagine mo si Kuya Cesar. Kilala yung si Kuya Cesar. Yung yes. Imagine mo si Kuya Cesar ay announcer sa basketball. Bini dribble. I shoot na pala. <laughs> Ibang hirap. Hirap ng gano'n. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, sorry. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> okay. Now, there are three kinds of speaker as what I told you a while ago. The first kind of speaker is this. You should not listen. Are you the kind of speaker that people categorize you as you should not listen to? Huwag mo pakikinggan yan. Patutulugin ka lang yan. Sino ba speaker na yun? Ay si Pansi, ano ako? Humingi ka na lang ng kopya na sasabihin niya. Papagurin ka lang. One time, meron nga isang barbero. So nung ginugupitan niya yung isang customer niya, umaga rin customer, kanina ako may ikap pare, ano ba ang problema? Kasi ako makatulog eh. So niya ako. So, gusto mo makatulog? Oo, oh, pare. Okay. Ginali niya, ginali niya. Nakita mo yung church na yun. Oo. Oh, balita ko yung pastor niya. Pag nagpipis, nakaka-untalk ko na kami. <laughs> that is the kind of spirit that people should not listen to. And people, if you're that kind of person, people have been put to sleep and felt that the assigned speaker has used them for practice. Pinag-practisan mo lang ako pang bidira ka. And I really hate people saying, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> first time ko ito, sorry ha, first time ko lang ito eh. Never ever tell that to people. Never ever tell that in front of people. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, no, uh, si Upline kasi, 
gun. I was like, no. You do that. And I hate people while they are already in front, they will turn the pages of their notes. Uh, sorry, has <laughs> Immediately, I will leave the room. Immediately. When I see a speaker doing that. Okay. That's true. Never apologize to your audience or to your prospect. Say, sorry, yeah, first time. Ko kasi, hindi ko kasi talaga alam. Hindi na magbibigin yan. Sabi, ay, ganun ba? Eh, pinagpapratis ako lang pala ako. Understand? Remember that they are putting their future and resources at stake. Therefore, don't play around it. Kung sabi, sorry, ha? First time ko kasi, alam mo, last week lang ako sumali. Eh, sabi kasi ni Apply para mawala yung kabako ko. Kaya, ito, ganito, kasensya na. Ako? Ah, blutin ko sa iyo yung 600 ko. Pag yun ang sinabi mo sa akin. And if you are conducting certain seminars and you're the kind of person also who reads the manuscript only. Uh, public speaking, very cool. Very, very cool. It's effective. You buy a pet. <laughs> the Chinese. <laughs> don't, don't read manuscript. And I have seen speakers like this. Okay, yung next po natin, you should be not listen. Huh? People have been put to sleep and felt that the assigned speaker has used them for this. Alam niyo na yun. Self-explanatory yun. Next. <laughs> and never present a business or marketing plan that is already made. Hindi mm. yung meron ka ibibigay yun sa papakita mo yung mga sinulat na nang-apply mo last week. Do that. And the next, uh, people have now fixed a notion that it will be a waste of time listening and attending to your talk. Markado ka na. Pag ikaw ay nagkamali ng una, kapag ikaw ay pumaliya ng una, sa susunod na makikita nila yung teaser mo, nakagano'n ka pa, Panginoon, mapag-awain. Magkakawa na. Hindi na mawawala yun sa utak ng tao. Ayaw ko mag-atin dyan. Ayaw ko mag-atin dyan. At nakakalukot kapag ikaw ay naging taong minarkahan sa loob ng mga downline mo o ng mga members o ng mga prospects. The next kind of speaker, you should listen. The kind of speaker is you should listen. What is the meaning of you should listen? Forced to be in the room because it is part of the requirement of the team and not for self. Napilitan ka kasi papapirma mo yun eh. Ha? Ha? Kailangan maraming pirma yun, ha? Kasi kung di ako mag-aakim, walang pirma niya. Kaya yung iba gagawin, lilitaw yung half na. Para naman, nakaligtas sila ng half. Half na lang yung sacrificio nila. Okay? <laughs> and there are people also, they call a speaker as you should listen to, it is because nandun na sila sa office, wala na sila magawa. Oh, sis, tapos na tayo. May time ka pa. Dito ka muna. Ganun ba? Saan ang punta? Dito makikilig ka doon. Ayun mo ko. Parang may kadeneng pa. Ayun mo ko. Nandiyan na yun ko. Bakit ito ganun, di ba? Ano yun? Hinihila ka, papasok. Kaya kanina nag-umpisa ako. Kasi if you 
you are a good speaker, you don't need people to listen to you. Kaya ako sila magpapasok dyan. That's the real speaker. You don't wait for someone to listen to you. Sabi mo ay katabi mo ikaw kasi. And the last kind of speaker that I'm about to share to you is that the speaker that you must listen. People love to hear and motivated to hear more. Ah, people love to hear you, and they are motivated to listen to you. That is the kind of speaker that you should be. So whenever they see your teaser in the Facebook, ay magka absent ako. Hindi sa training, di ba? Gusto nila agana. They know that na makakapulot ng aral sila sa iyo. Hindi sila magbubuise. Hindi masisira ang araw nila. They know na pag pumasok sila sa training mo, they'll come out as a brand new person. Someone who has something. And you need to be kind of, of the, you need to be the kind of speaker like this. And when you are prospecting, and if, if, if someone asks you to join them so that you can do the introduction, or do the closing, they know that they are confident. Magpepehin to pag si Pabs ang nag-close. Hindi eh, pag nag-close, tapos na. Magpehin kaya itong walo. But if you are this kind of person, the kind of speaker, by the sound of your voice coming out from the room, people know already that they are in they know they know that they will get not nuggets of gold but rather gold bars of wisdom from you if you are a channel of wisdom People will get out from this room not the same as they went in. If you are a speaker that people must listen to, you should be a factory that a raw material comes inside will come out from this room a different product. That's a good speaker. That is a good leader. That is a good prospecting. Na kapag katapos mo siyang kausapin, na ka mama, hindi mo bula, bibi. Nabalin mo. Saan mo yun? That's a good speaker. This guy once said, Oliver Wendell Holmes, I like this guy. Speak clearly. If you speak at all, carve every word before you let it fall. Ooh. Carve every word before you let it fall. When you speak, speak it clearly. Then carve it, carve every word. It means, if I want to talk about Apple, this is how it will tell you. Let me talk about a sumptuous, crunchy, delicious Washington apples. Red, freckled, like black dots. By the smell of it, you can still smell the aroma of sweetness. Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Imagine every word that I said. Naglagay po ako na isang basket ng manga. Sana pa rin. At kumuha po ako na isang manga, binalatan ko po sa pamilya. At habang binabalatan ko po, unti-unti nyo naamoy yung asin. At kung naamoy mo yung asin, 
narinig mo yung pagpunin ko sa isang pisinang mangga. Anong nararamdaman nyo? Nakasin. 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 Nakasin yung panga? Yes. Exactly. That is coming the world. That is the effectivity of a speaker. That you can stir up imagination. <coughs> That's why novelists are people who are proficient in carving words. Carving words is needed or required of adjectives. Ano po yung adjectives sa Tagalog? Um, Pang-uri. Ano pang lima? Anim. No. Pang-diwan. 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 Ano pang disan? Ang cute mo. Ako pa rin. Okay. Adjective are words that describe now. No? It is something that will let you imagine the word or the words that you're trying to impart. A featured writer. I was a featured writer in Kabayan Weekly. I started as a uh, editorial cartoonist in Kabayan Weekly. Then afterwards, they have just realized that I'm a writer, by which I was since then. Then I became their feature writer. On my feature articles, I mean, I received a lot of mails, um, people writing, asking for advices, because I have two columns there. One is poignant, and two is Tatak uh, Pinoy. Now, how I was able to capture the attention of the readers is by using words. Not only using words, using effective adjectives to fit in on certain nouns. Kapag kasi ganun mo, ganun kakagaling na mag magduktong na mga, na mga adjectives sa mga nouns, ang gandang masahe. Yes, Sometimes it may sound redundant, but it is beautifully crafted. If it is beautifully crafted, ang sarap patinggan. The same thing as a, uh, a public speaker. Now let's talk about the anatomy of public speaking. The first thing that you need to know and learn is mobility. When you are a speaker, you need to be mobilized. Movement while rendering your piece denotes mastery of the subject. Movement, mobility, is the mastery of the subject. Who among you have seen me preaching and teaching here or, or sharing you things when I'm just only standing in one corner? Have you seen me doing that? No. Of course. Number one, because I want to show you that I have mastered already my subject. My subject is not mastering me. By being mobilized as a speaker, you are now mastering over your audience. If you don't, if you are not mobilizing yourself as a speaker, you let the audience master you. They look at you. <laughs> Who among you watch Joy? Do you watch the movie Joy? In fact, we need to watch that one. It's the it's the story of success. It's a recent film. Robert De Niro is there also. Okay. If you know how to mobilize yourself while talking. Ooh, I'm telling you, people will love you. And why there's a need? Because 
Mobility eradicates stage fright and gives opportunity to think of alibis and find your way going back to your topic. Mm. It doesn't mean na nakikita niyo ako naglalakad ng ganun, alam na alam ko yan. May mga pagkakataon, iniisip ko yung susunod ko sasabihin. Uh, understand now? That's why you need to mobilize. And when you mobilize, certain steps, think, ano nga ba yun? And go. Mobilize, think, ano nga ba yun? And go. Kung hindi mo pa rin natatandaan, make animals. That's how mobility helps a speaker. You mobilize yourself to bring you back to the track. That's the importance of mobility. Next one, animation. A good speaker should animate himself. You don't need to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the meaning of animation? It involves gesture and facial expression. You know, if I, if, if I will only record the way you listen to me, guys, or the way people in our church listen to me whenever I preach, this is how they do. <laughs> they capture the gestures that I do. Because that is animation. If you are a good speaker, it involves gesture and facial expression. Before, I know someone who has no emotion. It was his birthday. We surprised him. 12 o'clock. Brought a cake. Woke him up. We had party hats on us, and this is also, surprise, happy birthday, and we wake up. Ang saya ko. Thank you. Ang saya ka na yan? Ang galing mo? Oh, saya ko. I mean, you can't capture the spice. And one time he had told me a story because he worked in Iraq in the U.S. military base. This is what he said. I start. Meron pong patakataon. Bumagsak po yung isang bomba doon malapit sa accommodation. Natakot ako. Natakot kayo ako. <laughs> if you're that kind of person or a speaker, don't expect people would believe you. You, you need to animate yourself. See, animation is you are able to put color to the story and bring certain points into its creative aspect. Animation. At, at, at dumating sa puto na kung saan yung taong yung bigla niya ibinaon, yung, yung, yung nakuha yung treasure na yun sa kanyang paghukay. That is animation. Every detail. When you talk about the life of people, when you talk about the, 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 the vision and the dreams of people, the deepest why of people, why they join AU, whenever you talk about your personal life, put a heart into it. I know that your parents are very important to you. Naniniwala ako na nakita mo nung ikaw ay bata pa, na namumublema ang nanay mo kung paano niya babayaran yung intangan niya. You should be talking with heart. And how you can portray that is to animate yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Clear po ba yan? Yes. Are you seeing me doing this? Yes. Okay. Hand movement, the frowning of the face, the mimicking of the sound, and the enactment of the story is very important. That's correct. Kung kaya mo, 
kung pwede ka, kung kailangan din naman mag-sound breaking ka, if you need to re-end the story, if you want to stress a point, then animate. I'm telling you, you will be an effective teacher or speaker if you know how to animate. The next one. <laughs> Voice clarity. voice determines the degree of retention of the message to the audience's hearts and mind. <coughs> Kung gusto mong masigurado na maraming mananatili sa utak at puso ng mga nakinig sa iyo, then therefore, siguraduhin mo, maliwanag yung pagkakasalita mo. Kaya importante din yung ating sound system. Importante your is you come, you came, the venue in advance. That's why I'm bringing my own microphone. I love my microphone. I'm secured here because I want to bring out clarity of voice. And that is one of the dynamics of a speaker that he or she or you should consider. Voice clarity. Always be clear on the message that you wanted to impart. Voice clarity also constitutes proper intonation, diction, and pronunciation of words. Ah, ah. Diyan tayo nagkakatalo. Filipinos. P at saka F. Say it properly. Anong gusto mong kulay? Think. Ano mo naman? At alam mo, ano think? P! Say it properly! Stupid! <laughs> Mali din. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what pie? Ano pie? Ano Okay? Diction is very important. Mamaya, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be testing your diction. Afterwards, the, the pronunciation of words are very important. Let's check it out. I want a volunteer. What person? <laughs> volunteer. Come on. Miko, Miko. 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 Miko, Okay? Ready? Go! Six ships, ship, shake, the six shakes, shakes. Oh. <laughs> Once again. Six ships, ship, shake, the six shakes, shakes. <laughs> Once again. Six ships, ship, shake, the six shakes, shakes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Palapangan po natin. I need gems. Gems? 
Neil, 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 apa ya? Oke, go, apa ya? Six ships, ship, ship, the six, six, six. Iya. Six ships, ship, ship, the six, six, six. Siapa? Six ships, ship, ship, the six, six. Tiga tak kau ye, nak semakannya. Next, ada. Ia. Six ships, ship, shape the six ships. Sabar. Six ships, ship, shape the six ships. Sabar. Six ships, ship, shape the six ships. Okay. Do you know that this is the hardest and most difficult tongue twister? Recorded by Guinness Book of Records. Wow. Yes. Lipat ko na nga. Lipat ko na nga. Yes. Okay. Okay. Use this one to practice your diction. Six ships. Six ships. Shake the six ships. Six ships. Kalau shift side tu, tak sahaja shift side tu, shift side tu lah. Okay, I need one more lutir, one more. Okay, tayo. How do you pronounce that? Bourgeois. Hi, Gary. Ukit mo, okay. Bourgeois. Bourgeois means middle class. Okay, next volunteer. Next volunteer, yung malakas sa loob. Okay, Nicole, stand. Elementary. Ha? Elementary. Wrong. Elementary. Ha? Elementary. Okay, correct. Elementary. Elementary. Yes, elementary. Next, volunteer. Sige, pala ka sa sulo. Volunteer. Volunteer. Sige, pwede kayo umuli. Ah, at yan. Pas, ada tu tong ini. Aki, aki, mana? Hah? Aku. Oh. Accuse me, accuse me. Next, hah? Ale? Rom? Male? 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 Ang meaning nito, you give birth to the on the couch. Now what? How you must pronounce that? Are you ready to know? Akushmol. Akushmol. Akuishmong. Yes. Ano akut mo? Akuishmong. Okay. Next. Volunteer. Siapa mana nak kasar lo? Kepal. Guys. Agus. Agus. Volkswagen. Ayah. Buti nalar. Kamaru yang ada bus. Volkswagen. It's Volkswagen. Wrong. 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 Volkswagen. Wrong. Volkswagen. Yes. Volkswagen. 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 It's just like I'll teach you French. Awak apa ni tu? 
Ang tao dyan sa French, Le Nou. Le At ito, Le Bac. Now, the next uh, thing that you need to learn also is voice dynamics. Voice dynamics is, this involves the rising and the fluctuation of voice tone. Hindi ibig sabihin na lagi kang sumisigaw! O hindi ka rin dapat lagi bumuli. There are times if you wanted to stress on something, the variation of tone, volumes, and verbal stress. Voice dynamics prevents monotonous delivery of message. You know one thing that I really hate on graduation are speeches. I need to undergo a painful process of listening to my boring principal. <laughs> Graduates, welcome. Tapos <laughs> eko pa, graduate, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> if you have monotonous voice, people won't listen to you. There should be a variation, fluctuation, and rising up of voice so that you'll be an interesting speaker. You got my point? Yes. Very important to understand that one. Now the next one is innovation. Being as an effective speaker, you need to learn how to innovate. There is a saying, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. But I say, you can always test it differently. If you wanted to talk about the, the business in AU, don't just talk about business in AU. Sino yung nandito nung kinausap ko yung mga youth dito? Okay. Nung kinausap ko yung mga youth, di ba nandun kami nag-uusap na nakapalibot? Nung ginamit ko na yung whiteboard, Anong ginawa ko? Anong din drawing ko? Yung drawing ko instantly, yung mukha nung kausap ko. Right? And why I'm doing that? Kasi I'm using Machiavellian psychology. Machiavellian psychology is this, that you use someone's answer to be his answer. What I've done, I draw someone's face here. Actually, how? Example. Uh, how you innovate your your presentation just just in case you know how to draw this is how I innovate it whenever I do my business presentation I draw first by that you capture immediately the attention of your viewers or the listeners 
By that, you are now imparting a message that you know something that they can or they don't. And by doing that so, you use this subject and you use the audience as the advisor. As soon as you finish the discussion, this is how. This is Shudik. Shudik has a dream. What is, what is important for him is this. His family. He wanted to break, to send his children to a prestigious school, blah, 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 blah. He has this dream. But he needs to fulfill his dream. And the only way to fulfill his dream is by finances. And how to have finances? is AU. AU can help him to fulfill his dream. And how to fulfill that dream is for him to undergo a process that AU offers. And what is that process? And you will present now the business. After presenting the business, kung paano kikita, so on and so forth, if you will advise him now, what you will advise to him? He needs to join? Or he should not join. Then they say, oh, he needs to join. Wow. So if now he will tell you his advice to you, what do you think he, his advice will be? And they will say, join. And therefore, join. Answers to be their decision. That is innovation. You use this. Who among you knows Aikido? You know the meaning of Aikido, right? It's a martial art wherein that you use your enemy's strength to defeat him. That's the meaning of Aikido. Now, the same thing what I have done a while ago, that is the kind of innovation that I want you to learn. That you use someone's answer to be everyone's decision. You can capture everyone by someone's answer. Learn that. Learn that trick. If you learn that trick, ah, I will never wonder if you will have a good amount of numbers. Innovation saves the audience from being bored and feel without them. Right? Remember that one. Innovation will saves the audience from being bored and feels another. A speaker is to accessorize a learned subject in accordance to the texture that he wanted to be known with. Accordance to the texture. Whenever you innovate, it should be in accordance to the texture. The meaning of that is this. If you are talking to youth, use terminologies that the youth are using. If you are talking to housemates, gumamit ka ng mga terminolohiya na madalas ginagamit na housemate. If you wanted to talk about business and 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 uh, explain to the housemaid how this business work, ganito yan. Alam mo tayo ganito yan eh, parang washing machine yan eh. So, pag ilagay mo ngayon, kasi bago mo ilagay itong mga damit na ito, di ba ilalagay mo muna yung sabon sa kafabrik sa akin yan? Kasi kahit Gano'ng madami yan at kaya pa ikutin yan kung wala yung sabon at public software, walang magandang resulta. At yung pag-ikot mo yan dahil, yan yung process mo. Ah, oo nga nun. So nakukuha niya ngayon kasi gumagamit ka ng terminolohiya na nakikita nila araw-araw. Kamo niya? Yes. Ganun po kayo daw. Aalamin ninyo yung listeners ninyo. Aalamin ninyo ang tawag ng demographics. Learn the demographics of your audience or your prospect. Demographic. Aalamin mo yan. Aalamin mo yung background yan. It's very important. Paano malaman yan? Nakipagkita ka muna prior to that or, or kung ganito na maramihan, pupunta ka rito ng maaga, magmamasadang mo sila. Yun po ang ibig sabihin ng innovation. Is that clear? Yes. Next one. You should have your own style. Huwag ka naman maglagay ng pakwan sa ulo mo. Ang <laughs> paniwayron ito ah. <laughs> you should have your own style and texture. What makes a speaker distinct from the other is his texture style. 
Dapat may sarili ka sa tayo. Na, marinig pala ng mga tao doon sa labas ng 807, si Francis yung nagsasalita. I'm sure si Francis yung pagpasa ng isa. Kung nalaga si Francis. Kasi doon pa lang sa voice style mo, kilala ka na kung sino ka. At kapag ikaw ay, um, 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 si Tresian. Si Tresian. Iwan sa ko. Sabi sa isip ko. Diba? So, kailangan meron kang style. Yung, yung mga techniques mo, ano? This will spare a speaker from being labeled as a copycat or a cheap imitation of the original. Huwag kang ano, huwag kang huwag kang gumaya. Learn from people, but don't be like them. Is that clear? Yes. Yung mga tinuturo ko sa inyo, huwag din mo lang magayahin, lalo ni lahat ko. Huwag niyo magayahin niyo. <laughs> just, just absorb the things that I teach you, that I taught you rather, then that's it. Do the stuff. Do your stuff. Preserve your peculiarity. Preserve your uniqueness. Do your own stuff. Be who you are. Ano lang naman yun eh. Hindi mo kailangan na gaya ng gaya. I still remember, um, doon din sa ibang network company, gabiyahin nila yung nakikita nila doon na yung boss nila. Ganon, ganon. Huwag kaya mo po kabomba ng ganon. Huwag kaya gayahin mo. Style nyo. Style nyo. Huwag mo gayahin. Meron din ako nakita mga ibang pastor na gabiyahin nyo. Ibang pastor ng, 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 ng isang simbahan or ng, ng isang lahat. Huwag mo gayahin nyo. Siya yun eh. Make your own style. Devise your own style. How to devise your own style? It takes time, of course. All just interaction is very important. If you really wanted to be an effective speaker, learn to devise audience interaction. What is an audience interaction? By this, the speaker prepares the audience, warms the atmosphere, and lightens up the pace. No wonder, whenever I speak to you, I let you to do things. Right? Kapag sabihin, sabihin ko sa inyo, palakpak muna tayo, tapos pala pumapalakpak, meron ako sasabihin, then papalakpak kayo ng malakas. Then may ipapasigaw ako sa inyo. Right? And these are considered as feelers that breaks the monotony. And what are those? The first one, command for verbal response. What is the meaning of command for verbal response? Sabihin mo nga sa tabi mo. Hama? Or, sigaw nga kayo roar! Ayun. That is a verbal response. Roar. <laughs> it's a verbal response. That is the meaning of verbal response. The next one, command for movement and response. Tapikin mo nga yung katabi mo at sabihin mo, parang ikaw yun ah. One. So, on the intervals, kailangan pinapasok mo yan para magising yung tao ang kausap mo. Lalo na kapag ang topic mo mahaba. Hello? Oh, yun yung ginawa ko, yung hello. Let's see, come on. Self-presentation and packaging is very important. Make sure, yung panunamit mo, the way you dress determines the impression of the audience towards you. Whenever you are meeting a client, know you are dressed up in a manner that suggests professionalism and corporate values. Can you be mga taga-EU? Ah, yung poli niya, orange. At anong green? Ako ba ito, Fred? United Colors. Ay, mukha kang traffic light sa ginawa mo. Make sure that the way you dress should not be the subject of mockery. Hindi yung pagtatawanan ka. Hindi yung pagpasok mo. Good morning! Hindi sa mag-good morning. 
Tapos suot mo, ikaw babae ka, ang suot mo yung blouse mo, paano sa lagid to? Ang dami sequence, mga ganun-ganun pa. Tapos may headband ka, yung meron pa. Yung meron, yung meron pa. Bakit, bakit, bakit? Ayusin mo naman yung pananamit mo. Huh? And, and guys, before you come, face a mirror. Baka nakabukas yung sipan mo. Makita yung bra. Diba? At kung may mga balahibong lumalabas dyan, ipasok mo. Lalo na babae ka. No! Para ka sa buwan. Okay? Kung meron mga buhok sa ilaw, i-push up. <laughs> Pakikis lang. Gawin mo dreadlocks. Okay? Presentation. <laughs> How's your posture? Posture and mannerism are very important for a speaker. Kung ganyan ka lagi nakatayo, pangit na posture yun. Sakot na ba nito? Proper posture At yung mannerism Meron mga tao may mannerism na ganito At kapag sinasabi nyo Na Ano? Your posture identifies the level of your interest Finesse And enthusiasm Never talk to people like this. Oh, pwede na yun yan. Posture. Next. If you don't have a proper posture, people won't see that you are interested. They don't even see finesse in you. Alam mo yung finesse? Yung class. Wala kang class pa ganyan. Yung posture. You need to prevent hands in your pocket. Eh, tapos may babae ka doon. Remember me that. Frequently conscious about your zipper. I have seen someone doing this. At yun po ang pangangyayari po sa ating lahat na kailangan po. Always, always pushing the zipper out. Rubbing nose or picking your nose. At, ah, sa lahat po ng... I'm telling you. Checking cell phone once in a while. Yun ang pinakayo ko, yung mga speaker na ganun. Naintindihan niyo po ba na ang lahat, ang lahat po na nga, Ibabato ko sa'yo sa cellphone mo. Huwag ginawa mo yun. Another one, frequent brushing of hair with hair. Lala na yung mga babae. Ay nga po ah! Huwag yung gagawin yun. Never ever do that. It is a cheap version of you. May tanong ako sa inyo. Paano daw umamoy ng kilikili ang sosyal? Paano raw aamoy ng kilikili ang siga? Eh, paano na umamay ng kilikili ang coach ng basketball? Ganito. Shoot! 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 Ano kayo sa nakuha niyo? Huwag kayo aamay ng kilikili rin, ha? Okay. Break muna tayo. Meron tatlong magkakabata niya. Sinabi niya. Ano ba lolo ko? Ang tindi niya. 
Yan ang unang nakakuha ng 95 sa eskwela nila. Ang talino, di ba? Sabi ng isa. Really? Wala sa lolo ko. <laughs> ang lolo ko ang unang nakakuha ng 99 sa lalawigan nila. Kasi yung isa, sabi niyo. Alam niyo, bubobo ng mga lolo niyo. <laughs> yung lolo ko, siya ang nakakuha ng 75. Ah! Ito, 95! Ako, 99! Sa'yo, 75, yun ang pinakamagaling. Hoy, half day lang yun. Eh, kung hindi, 150! Ang nakukuha mo lang! <laughs> okay. Mastering your topic. Let's, let's go to another subject. Mastering your topic. <coughs> There are times you thought na, ba, paano kayo na memorize ni Bishak yung mga sinasabi niya? Do you really need to memorize your topic? Oh. No, you need to master it. Because when you master it, you are actually familiarizing it. You don't have to memorize your topic, but rather to familiarize. And how to familiarize your topic is this. Quick tip. How to familiarize your topic. The first one, using a printed manuscript. I do that in uh, in preaching in the church. Arrange them in order and memorize the order. For example, if I am in a certain point, then suddenly I forgot what to say, then my mind will tell me that is in page three somewhere in the middle and my mind will browse page 3 shh ah yeah let's go on that's how you familiarize it next one using the powerpoint that's what i'm doing now how to show as if you know already your topic by using your powerpoint make sure that the images you use reveals the thought to be said This is what we call visual context. Na kapag nakik- gagamit ka ng mga picture, isang picture muna na siya magpapaalala sa iyo sa sasabihin mo. Ganun ka dapat gumawa ng slides. Diba? Nakita nyo kanina nung pag ganun ko nakita ko yung tatlong bata, immediately alam ko joking sa sasabihin ko. That's how you need to make your slides. Understand? Yes. Okay? The next one, using a handheld computer, iPad, or tablet. Okay? Increase the font size according to your visual's capacity. The words that are enlarged serves as the cue of the rest of the topic. For example, if this is my iPad, ang gagawin ko po, i-increase ko ito. The words, font, size. Lalaki lang po yan. So therefore, kapag ako ay nandito, at nakita ko yung iPad kung nakalapag doon, at may nakita akong malaking letters that says font size, it gives me now the idea that I'll be talking about increasing the font size <coughs> according to my visual capacity. Nakuha niyo po yung point? You increase the words that will remind you of the subject. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> That's all, folks. Now, this is the question. Are you ready to talk to them? Are you ready to talk to them? Are you ready to talk to God? Yes, sir. Okay, are you ready to talk to someone 